one of the members in the Happy Even After Facebook tribe group shared something, and it was important enough that I wanted to talk about it here. See, her divorce was just finalized. The worst was behind her, and now it was time to heal. But the problem was she was still following her ex on social media, and she saw that he was doing something and saying something and connecting with someone that was upsetting to her. And so what happened? She got emotional about it. And the consequence was that her healing stopped in its tracks because she couldn't stop watching and digesting and absorbing what was happening on social media. It's only human. We, we look at it when we scroll through. So we all know that social media can send you down that rabbit hole. One click here, another click there, and before you know it, an hour has passed. And when we finally put our phone down, we're drained, upset, angry, and also stuck. So here's some advice. You don't need to unfriend your ex, but you should mute them. Did you know that you can mute or unfollow someone? So that means that you remain friends, but you don't see their posts. Now take it one step further. Mute your ex's friends and maybe even their family because let's face it, if you're scrolling and you see your ex, you're gonna stop and hover. And if you don't like what you see, you're going to get caught in the woulda, coulda, shoulda mental space. So let's just remove the temptation from your life altogether, at least for now while you're still healing. Set yourself up to continue to move forward instead of constantly looking back. Now, if you haven't joined the Happy Even uh, After Tribe yet, I can't say enough about what a warm, supportive space this is. So please join us. The link is in this post.